Okay, now let us look at this question. A wire has a mass 5.3 gram and length 2.5 meter. A force of 50 newton can extend it by 2.3 millimeter. Determine the Young's modulus for the metal of the wire. Okay, and also the strain energy stored in the stretch wire. Okay, given density of the metal of the wire is uh, this. Okay, all in SI unit. Um, but this one is in gram. Okay, let us highlight it. So we have none SI unit like gram here and millimeter. So the rest are SI unit. This one you have to be careful. You always have to make sure all in SI unit. You must change all to SI unit. Okay, so you must change. First of all, you must change the gram into kilogram. You must also change to uh, the millimeter to meter. Okay, pay attention. Okay, so the question asks for Young's modulus, which is the Y, and also the strain energy stored in the stretch wire. Uh, this is the elastic potential energy. Okay, the elastic potential energy, uh, elastic potential energy stored or strain energy, which is this one. Yeah, strain energy half Fe. Okay, strain energy or elastic potential energy stored in the wire. So, okay, so let us find out. So, information given, we have mass. Oh, this is the mass of wire, not the mass hanging from it. Yeah, this is the mass of the wire. So, be careful. Huh? This is the mass of wire, not mass hanging, for, hanging uh, by the wire. Okay, this is the mass of the wire alone. Mass of the wire itself. Uh, it is. It should be. Uh, this mass of the wire should be useful. Uh, together with the density of wire. Ah, uh, so we also have density of wire here. It's the density of wire. So these two information will be useful to find out. Let's say the volume of the wire, cross sectional area of the wire. Okay. Uh, and then uh, we also have the length of the wire. This is the length of the wire. This one's supposed to be the original length. Okay, original length of the wire. And then force of 50 Newton can extend it by this. Uh, so this is the force in the wire. Yeah, force in the wire or tension in the wire. Yeah, tension in the wire or force in the wire. Extend it by this. Uh, so extend, extend elongation. Uh, elongation so this is e then e so now we can solve the question already okay we can solve the question question a we want to find young's modulus first of all we know that young's modulus is a uh, stress uh, divided by strain uh, which is uh, this symbol stress over strain okay uh uh, or we also can uh, the formula stress over strain. Uh, look at here, uh, stress over strain uh, can change to F L over A E also. Uh, this is another formula F L over A E. Yeah, so write that down also. Yeah, or we can take F force in the wire multiply length of the wire. This is the original original length of the wire. Okay, uh, and then uh, cross sectional area of the wire. And elongation of the wire. Ah, so I think we don't have stress over strain yet, but we already have the force in the wire. We have the original length of the wire. Cross sectional area of the wire we don't have, but we can find from the density of wire with the mass of the wire. And then we can find the cross sectional area, isn't it? Elongation of the wire also we have. Ah, so what's missed out is the just the cross sectional area. Ah, so okay, so what uh, is uh, mentioned here actually what is described here actually is we have uh, a wire uh, we have a wire okay um, with uh, we have the mass mass of the wire and also the density uh, we also have the density of the wire ah so um, to find the area a cross-sectional area of the wire which is uh, this area Okay, this area, uh, we want to find out this cross-sectional area. Ah, 
Uh, we know that cross-sectional area multiplied by the length, multiplied by the whole length, uh, the length. Uh, we know that volume is equal to cross-sectional area multiplied length of the wire. Ah, so uh, we also have the length of the wire. Ah, length of the wire. Uh, volume we can get from the density, isn't it? Ah, so let's do it. That's the idea. Okay, let's do it. So um, okay. So we know that density of the wire is equal to mass over volume. Ah, mass over volume a mass over volume so this is the mass of the wire divided by the volume of the wire uh, divided by the volume of the wire okay so uh, mass uh, the volume is actually area times length uh, area times length volume is actually a cross-section area times the length of the wire uh, so uh, which is so this is the density mass over volume Okay, so let's plug in all the value. Uh, we have all the rest. We just want to find the area. Uh, so let's plug in the value. So density, density is uh, 2.7 exponent uh, 3. Uh, 2.7 exponent 3 equal to mass. The mass of the wire is uh, 5.3, but it's gram. So we have to change to kilogram. Yeah, we have to change to kilogram. Kilo is... Uh, exponent 3 so to add the, the kilo we need to put the negative 3 uh, we need to put the negative 3 okay uh, so then we have the kilo uh, we have, then we have the kilo uh, okay so now it become the SI unit kilogram okay uh, or you when you change from gram to kilogram gram to kilogram you becoming something bigger isn't it so you need to divide by 1000 and uh, divide by 1000 get a kilogram unit okay because kilogram is a bigger unit so you need to divide okay so that's the mass of the wire so uh, what's the uh, we want to find area of the wire but we have the length uh, length of the wire is length of the wire is 2.5 meter uh, is 2.5 meter Ah, so you can find the cross-sectional area. So let's find out the cross-sectional area. Okay. Uh, okay. So it is a uh, seven point eight five seven point eight five two. Okay, seven point eight five two. Uh, exponent negative. Seven, uh, negative seven. Okay, so uh, that's the meter square. Ah, uh, we already have the cross-sectional area. So, uh, so from here we can, uh, we already got the area. Okay, out of the density. So uh, we can put in the value already. Okay. So, uh, uh, okay. So what's the force in the wire? Fifty newton. Put fifty. The original length of the wire is uh, 2.5 meter. Okay, and divided by the cross-sectional area, we got just now 7.852 exponent negative 7. Okay, and finally, what's the extension of the wire? Uh, extension of the wire is uh, or elongation of the wire 2.3 milli so you have to change to SI unit milli is uh, exponent negative 3 ah, these are traps these all are traps if you don't change to SI unit then you are fail okay um, so let's calculate okay Okay, so the answer is uh, for Young's modulus is uh, 6.92, uh, 6.92 exponent 10, uh, exponent 10. Okay, so what's the unit? We know that uh, this one has uh, the strain, the strain has no unit. Yeah, strain has no unit, uh, but the stress has unit Pascal, isn't it? Uh, like pressure, stress is like pressure. 
So uh, Young's modulus have the same unit as stress. Okay. Uh, so uh, Pascal. So Young's modulus is Pascal unit, or you can write as a uh, Newton per meter square. Ah, uh, so that's the answer. Is that correct? Is that correct? Yeah, six point nine exponent ten. Ah, that's correct. Pascal. The unit is Pascal. Good. So uh, that's it. Um, yeah, so Young's modulus is Newton per meter square or Pascal unit. So now let's find out the strain energy. Question B. We want to find the strain energy. Strain energy is actually um, half Fe or half Ke square. Yeah, because it's the uh, area under the uh, force elongation graph. Force elongation graph. So it's like a triangle. You see that? It's like a triangle. So it's like a uh, force time, you know. This uh, this graph is just like uh okay, let me draw it out yeah uh, this one is so this one is the F and this one is the E you see that uh, this is the F and this is the E so half times F E half times F E so you get the the triangle shape uh, the triangle shape okay so half F E that is the area under F E graph which this area under Fe graph is actually the strain energy. Uh, this is actually the, the, the strain energy stored in the strain energy stored in the, in the string or in the wire uh, yeah? or in the ductile material. Okay, the strain energy stored. Okay, uh, so um yeah so half F, the formula is half f e la. yeah half f the force in the wire times elongation yeah or you can write as a half uh, k e square if you have the force constant uh, but we only have f isn't it we have f uh, so we use the f and elongation okay so and we can get the answer the force is of the wire is 50 newton Times elongation change to SI unit. Yeah, be careful. Uh, change to SI unit. So elong milli milli is negative three. Uh, milli is negative three. Yeah, negative milli is negative three. Okay. Uh, so uh, no no don't have square. Huh? <laughs> it's just uh, half Fe. Ah, so what's the answer? Yeah, what's the answer? Let's calculate. Two point three exponent negative. 3 uh, times 50 divided by 2. Okay, so the answer is uh, 0. Point, uh, 0. 0.0575. Uh, so, Joule. Yeah, uh, this energy, Joule. Yeah, so is the answer correct? Let's see. Uh, 5.8 exponent negative 2. Yeah, exponent negative true. Yes, it's correct. Yeah, same as this answer. Okay, that's, an that's answer. Okay, see you.